This weekend, Black Panther smashed box office records. <laughs> Earning hundreds of millions of dollars. And don't worry, if you haven't seen the movie yet, it just means you're racist. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're racist, but that's not why. <laughs> anyway, there's one person who's always in the know when it comes to Hollywood, our resident movie king, Roy Wood Jr., everybody. Yes, yes. Wakanda to you. Yes, and Wakanda to you. Wakanda to me. Wakanda, Wakanda, Wakanda. Wakanda. Wakanda, my brother. Wakanda, Wakanda. So I'm guessing you saw the movie? Oh, dude. Saw it once, saw it twice, saw it six times, Trevor. Saw it in a black theater with black people. It was a black ass movie theater, bro. <laughs> wow. Black ass movie theater. Uh, I don't understand. Like, how did you know it was a black movie theater? It was above a footlocker, Trevor. Fair point. Yeah. Black ass theater, man. Look, this movie is a phenomenon. It's, it's like Black Hamilton. Wait, isn't Hamilton Black Hamilton? <laughs> Not like this, Trevor. First of all, nothing where seats of $400 a ticket is the black anything. <laughs> and I guarantee you, you've never seen black folks act like this for a movie. People are showing up with musical <laughs> instruments. They are dressed in these beautiful outfits. Black Panther, oh yeah, come on, Wakanda! Man, if you thought black people were loud in theaters before, <laughs> wait till we bring our drums. We dancing, put up, put up, put up, put up, We dance in all the movies. Next stop, Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit, stay strong. Stay strong, brother Peter. Could you feel it, Trevor? Could you feel the blackness in the theater? I tell you who could feel that blackness. It was the white people. <laughs> I saw white people on Twitter. They didn't even know if they could come to the movie or not, man. Yeah, that's... No, that's a real thing. People were tweeting, and they were like, can white people come and watch Black Panther? Like, can white people watch Black Panther? Of course. It's not an actual Black Panther meeting. <laughs> Everyone's welcome. Bring your kids. Join the fun. Y'all can even dress up. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did I hear what you're saying? Are you... You're okay with white people dressing up as the characters from Black Panther? Yeah, for as long as they dress up as one of the two white characters in the movie. <laughs> you got a choice. You're a skinny dude and a muscle dude. Which one do you want to be? You could choose, right? Yeah. Now, here's, here's the thing that, that's been fascinating, Royce. The movie is resonating a lot with the black community. Mm -hmm. uh, like, what do you think it is? Is it about representation? Is it the powerful black women that we see, the visions of Afrofuturism? Or, 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 or it's just a dope-ass movie. <laughs> I don't need to go all James Baldwin here, but let's be real. Did you see those fight scenes? Oh, my God, she had the pole, and she pulled it out, and then she threw the wig, and then she flipped, and did the thing, and he was on top of the car. Then the car flipped, and he flipped, and he landed back on top of a flipping okay, car. Okay, spoilers, spoilers, trying... spoilers. No, that was in the previews, man. Spoilers. All right, I get it. I get it. It's the action, but you have to admit, no, for, for many black people, this movie does make you feel something special inside. Yeah, of course. Okay. I'll admit it. Wakanda touched me. Because it's nice to have a black movie that's not about slavery, singing, or slinging dope. It's just a fun fantasy film. And black fantasy is not even that outlandish. For black people, a good fantasy is just us chilling in Africa, having a good time. That's all we need. <laughs> and a couple of flying cars could be nice. So you can do the flippy thing. Wakanda. Wakanda for you. Everybody.